how to smoothly switch to auto mix in DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm gonna show you. So I believe that auto mix is one of DJ Pro's best feature. It uses artificial intelligence to pick the perfect transition at the perfect time to do an auto mix. It's not like other auto mixes where it will just trigger the crossfader at a certain time in the song. And one thing I want to get out of the way is people saying, oh, auto mix is cheating, which is completely ridiculous. It's just using a tool that you have to make your job easier. For example, let's say that you, you're a carpenter and you were hired to build a birdhouse in someone's backyard. Somebody hired you as a carpenter to build a birdhouse in their backyard. And you're out there trying to build this birdhouse with a butter knife. You're cutting the wood with the butter knife and that's the only tool you're using when behind you in your truck is a whole truck full of saws, table saws, staple guns, wood glue, and all these great tools that'll make your job so much easier and make it come out better for your customer, but you go, oh, using those tools are cheating. So if you put it that way, you'll see that it's ridiculous to think that using the sync button or using auto mix or using the match feature is cheating because it's not. It's you doing the job that you're paid for in the most efficient way possible. And the customer, the people that hired you to DJ, they don't care how you do it. They just care that you do it. So now that I got that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys some ways to switch from DJing on the decks, doing your thing, to going into auto mix. And I'm also going to give you some scenarios where on reasons why you would want to do this. Okay, so first of all, let me show you guys how to, the easiest ways to access auto mix on the app. So with the DJ Pro app, if we are in classic mode, let's say we're doing a DJ set and we're in classic mode, we have a couple of options. First option is press this middle button up here, then press press the middle button here, and then press auto mix. And then you could start an auto mix. I'm going to show you how to change the order of the songs in a little bit, but that is one way to start it. And then once you start it, you could turn it off right here. So in order to start it, you have to, in order to start auto mix, you have to click the middle button. But to stop it, you don't have to press the middle button anymore. They put a button right here. So you could just, boom, stop auto mix and auto mix is off. So that's one way to do it. Another way is if you go over here to the track selector into your playlist, down here is where it says match. They didn't take auto mix away. They just combined it with the match button. So if you click the match button, you could go to Q, History, or Auto Mix. So that's one way you could trigger your Auto Mix start. And now you have an Auto Mix started. So what scenarios would you be using Auto Mix for? Because as a DJ, you're paid to go there and DJ. And what are we going to use Auto Mix for? Well, one thing is, depending on what kind of party it is, it might not be dance time for the whole party. It might be you know, it's somebody's sweet 16 or something. And yeah, they're going to want to dance for a little bit. But what about when they eat dinner? Everybody's sitting down eating dinner and they're not going to be paying attention to you doing your thing on the decks. So at that time, it'll be completely appropriate to just set an auto mix and have it transition smoothly. Now, the most important thing when you set an auto mix is to make sure that you have your playlist picked out. So what auto mix does is it will mix the songs in a specific playlist or it'll do matching songs. But if you set it to just matching songs, it could be kind of dangerous because it might play a song that's inappropriate for the event that you're doing. Let's say you're doing like a 60th birthday party. You don't want to be playing um, Lil Wayne or Cardi B or something like that because it might not be appropriate for the people there. Same thing if there's kids or anything like that. So when we go to my collection, playlist 
Now we'll go to our playlist that we made specifically for the party. So over here, this is a playlist that I made for a house party that I had last year. So I know every song on this playlist is appropriate for the party. I listen to them, I know what the song is, and it's ready to go. So when you go over here, let's say we're DJing. Let's make sure auto mix, auto mix is off. Let's go over here. We're gonna eject these songs. So let's say we're DJing over here with this playlist. We'll go over here, just going over to pop EDM songs. And we're DJing. Let's just say, for example, these two songs are playing. You're playing these songs, you're DJing with these songs. And now we want to put it into an auto mix. Either you got to go to the bathroom or people are starting to sit down to eat or something. And you're going to set an auto mix. So what we'll do is we'll press the middle button. And then we'll go over here. Auto mix. And now before we start the auto mix, click this up next button. And then we're going to press clear. So now this means that we are free to choose our next playlist. So now we could go over here to playlist and then we could go down to the playlist that we selected. Where's my house party playlist? House party 21. And now we're going to select this playlist. But we didn't start the auto mix yet. And if you look at the song on the right deck, I have it the volume turned down. But this song is still playing. So in this example, we still have a song playing. We didn't stop the music at all. And we're getting ready for our, our auto mix. Now we have our house party 21. So what happens is it's going to select the songs in the order that it is. But what if we don't want to do that? We can change the order of the songs. So we could either do shuffle, which will shuffle them up. Or we could do repeat, which will repeat the playlist. I don't really recommend doing that. So just leave it, turn it off shuffle, and it's going to play in order. So now with the song still playing, we are going to select start auto mix. So auto mix is started, but it didn't do the transition yet. It's not going to do the transition till it gets to this point in the song. You see the underline there? That's where the song is going to end. And then over here, that's where the song is going to transition the line in the beginning. So now we go back to auto mix. And once you have started the auto mix, if you press the arrow over here, you have access to change it and you have access to move stuff around. So let's say if this song focused, what if we didn't want this song to play? We said, hmm, people here, I put this song for the playlist, but I don't think I want to play it anymore. What you could do is you click it and you press this minus button. Boom. Now it brings up the next song in order. But if you don't like the order, what you can do is you could switch the order around. You can't do it in the auto mix section, but what you could do is do it in the actual playlist section. So in auto mix, it says bedrock, hollow back girl, and then there you are. If we go over here, to the playlist that is playing. So in auto mix, bedrock, hollow back girl, there you are. We go over here, bedrock, hollow back girl, there you are. Let's say we wanted to play buy you a drink next. So what we could do is we could put that all the way at the top here, and then we go to back to our auto mix, and then we stop the auto mix, and then we're gonna put buy you a drink. Now we go to our auto mix. Up next, clear. House party. Let's just switch the select playlist. We're going to go back and then buy you a drink. So you could select the order of these songs, but you could only do it through the regular playlist section. So you could have all these songs playing in a row so that the auto mix is set up in a row. And then if you want to change your mind, once you're in the auto mix, you, you can change it. So let's say you decided 
buy you a drink and you don't want that one, what you can do, delete, and then it'll be in the next order. So just keep that in mind when you set these auto mixes because the most important thing is for you to know what songs are going to come up. Because let's say you set it to auto mix, you go sit down to eat, and then um, an inappropriate song by Cardi B or something comes on, and then you got to go run up to the deck and change it. So that's where my next tip comes in, and that is to use a wireless mouse. Most of these mouses will have enough range to go from when you're where you're, se where you're seated eating to your DJ booth. So now you could control the auto mix with your mouse and you don't have to be right there on the iPad. You don't have to run up in the middle of your meal and go touch the iPad because you could do it with your mouse. And as soon as you wanna stop auto mix, so this song's playing and then you, you're done eating, you're done going to the bathroom or whatever, go over here, stop auto mix, the song will still be playing and then you can just mix in your next song. So I hope you guys don't listen to the haters that say this is cheating, that's cheating, that's not real DJing because as long as you are playing music that everyone likes and everyone's having a good time and the person that hired you is happy, then you did your job. Whether it's DJing or whether it's building a closet or whether it is um, sending emails as an accountant, just use the tools that are available to you and makes your job easier and it opens you up to doing more stuff with your DJing or whatever else you're doing. So if you like learning about DJ Pro and all that you could do with DJing on the iPad, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like because I make DJ videos every day.